I'm sure you must have realized that your voice is capable of producing different types of textures, and this depends on the pitch, the intensity, and what you're aiming at achieving. And this brings us to the topic of head voice, chest voice, and the mix. And we're going to be demystifying these things so that you can understand better. Coming up. Hey, hey, I'm Akurios and you're welcome to this week's edition of Vocal Wonder. And today we're going to be talking about head voice, chest voice and the mix. We're going to be talking a little bit about the mix, not going very deeply into it because it's going to take a couple of videos to help, you know, most of us because it's a topic that takes quite a bit of time to actually master and learn all that comes with it. But the head voice and chest voice are going to be introduced to you today and I'm going to ensure that I explain exactly what they mean and how you can begin to develop them and use them in your own singing. Last week we talked about phonation which is the creation of sound by the human voice system and we also talked about the human voice system and all the different parts. We talked about the motor, we talked about the vibrator, the resonators and the articulators and we talked about the different roles that each part plays. We also you know went a little bit deeper into the resonators. We talked about the chest uh, cavity which is the lower resonator, the nasal cavity, the upper resonator. We also talked about the sinuses, the maxillary sinuses, the frontal sinuses, the ethmoid sinuses and the sphenoid sinuses and all these sinuses contribute to uh, producing that resonance in the upper part of the human voice system. The concept of resonance is very important in understanding the head voice, the chest voice and the mix and the entire you know vocal range of every singer because it's resonance that produces the quality of your voice at different registers and I'm going to explain all these things properly so that you can understand exactly what I'm saying. When I use the word resonance remember we're talking about amplification of sound based on the interaction and the excitement of air molecules in these cavities, the chest cavity, the lower resonator, the nasal cavity, when sound travels into that place and then this sound is amplified. The sound created by the vocal cords is very quiet. It is only made louder by the you know physics and the science that happens in these cavities, in these spaces. And remember I used the acoustic guitar as an example to show you exactly what resonance means and how it happens. So this particular topic is what is going to help us understand what the chest voice is and what the head voice is. And then right in the middle of these two main resonances, the chest and the head, we have the mixed voice or the mixed voice or what some people term the middle voice. Now some say that this mixed voice does not exist because it's very difficult to you know zero into the quality of its sound the timbre the texture the feel of it and even the experience that you go through when you are producing it but um to be honest with you the mixed voice exists and in subsequent videos and i'm, I'm actually going to dedicate a particular series to it to helping uh, singers identify use and develop their mixes so the mixed voice does exist and the mixed voice is very important in helping you find your own individual voice. So in this video you are going to learn about the head voice, the chest voice, how they are created and amplified, how you feel when you sound them and how to use them in your own singing. So let's start with the chest voice. The chest voice is created as a result of resonance in the chest cavity which is the lower resonator. All right. Now this amplification of sound is what you hear when we speak. As I'm speaking to you, I'm speaking from my chest voice. This is the sound of my chest voice. It's the sound produced as a result of the application of the vocal, of the sound created by the vocal cords amplified in my chest cavity. All right. And if you place your hand as you speak or as you sing with your chest voice on your chest, if you place your hand on your chest, you can actually feel some vibration. If you're not feeling vibration, then there's something wrong. You can actually feel vibration and some kind of, you know, you know, sensation as you're speaking or as you're singing with your chest voice. Now, on the other hand, the head voice is produced as a result of resonance. 
amplification of the vocal cord sound in the nasal cavity, which is the upper resonator, or the maxillary sinuses, the frontal sinuses, the ethmoid and sphenoid sinuses in the head. And when this amplification occurs, you hear the head voice. That's the sound of the head voice. That sound is amplified in my sinuses and my nasal cavity. Now, but there's, you know, a whole range of notes and sounds that can be created by the human voice system from the very lowest to the very highest. And that's what we refer to as the vocal range. The vocal range is the entire spectrum of sounds that can be created by the human voice system of a particular person from the lowest in pitch to the very highest in pitch. So all the sounds I can produce from the lowest sounding one to the highest sounding one, that's my entire vocal range. And if I were to demonstrate by glissando, glissando is just a technique that we use to access the entire vocal range sliding up from the lowest note to the very highest note. That's what glissando is. If I were to demonstrate using that, my entire vocal range, I would begin from the lowest in pitch and then slide upwards to the very highest. So, uh, now that's my almost my entire vocal range. I'm about four octaves in my vocal range. Now you don't have to have too many octaves. The average human being has just about two octaves, but the more you extend your vocal range, both from the high end and from the low end, you extend and, you know, start adding notes and registers to your vocal range. And that's absolutely fantastic, but you need expert supervision to achieve that. But that's not what we're talking about in this particular video. So you can try it for yourself. You can actually, demonstrate to yourself so that you can feel how it sounds with the technique glissando from the lowest sounding note to the very highest sounding note that you can produce with your own vocal um, system with your own voice mechanism you can start from the lowest uh... to the very highest and then you have accessed most of the notes in your human voice system and you can feel and hear that the sounds and the texture, the tone, the timbre of the lower notes are different from the tone, the timbre and the texture of the higher notes. And you can actually feel that as you go higher, you begin to feel the resonance in your head. Now that's what we refer to as the head voice. You begin to feel that resonance in your nasal cavity and you hear and feel some vibration and sensation around your mask. That's this area. The mask, that's the M-A-S-K, is the area that covers your mouth and your nose. That's the mask. That's the mask right there. So try that out for yourself and hear how the quality of the notes change as you go up and also feel the resonance change as you go up from your chest resonance to your head resonance. I'd like you to also visualize this as like a lift, as an elevator. When you go from your chest voice to your head voice, you have to imagine that something is moving upwards. Now, uh, it's the quality and the tone, the registers are going upwards from the lower registers to the very higher registers. Let me define what a register means. A register is a group of notes produced by the same muscular activity. That's what a register is. So when you have a couple of notes, they're different in pitch, they're different notes, they have different pitches, but they are closely related because they are produced by the same type, the same exact type of muscular activity in the human voice system. The same activity of the muscles of the lungs, the same activity of the vibration of the vocal cords produce them. Now, when this timbre changes, when their texture changes as you ascend in pitch, now you enter a new register. Now this could be three, four, five notes, seven notes, could be dependent on your voice. Now this register is like a family of notes in your voice that have the same texture, the same timbre, the same feel. 
That's what is called a register. And there are several registers in the human voice system. Another visualization I would like you to do is that of a rectangle. And I'm going to show you a diagram. This diagram is going to explain to you what I mean by a rectangle. Now, if you split that rectangle into two from the top right to the bottom left, now you're going to have two triangles, two right angle triangles. Now you can assume that one triangle is the chest voice and the other is the head voice. Now at the very bottom, you can see that there's more real estate, there's more space on the side of the chest voice, but there's still some tiny little head voice right at the bottom there. Now, as you ascend gradually and slowly, the chest voice becomes narrower while the head voice is becoming wider. Now, the higher you go, the higher you go, the chest voice is getting narrower and the head voice is getting wider. Now, at a point right at the middle, there's like an equal amount or an equal width of head voice and an equal width of chest voice. And this area is what we call the mix. That's your mix voice. And then if we keep ascending, we are now getting to the point where the chest voice is as narrow as the head voice was at the bottom. And then the head voice is widest. This can help you really understand how we elevate or modulate the human voice system to access the entire chest voice range and the head voice range. You can also demonstrate this with the major scale and I implore you to join me in this. <sighs> Big breath before you begin any singing, before you begin any exercise, make sure you take in your big breaths. <sighs> do, re, mi, fa, so, la, ti, do, re, mi, fa, so. Now the tone is changing, the registers are changing, the pitch is changing, the timbre, the texture, everything about those notes change as we ascend. Now, as you do this, if you begin to imagine and visualize that rectangle with the two triangles, the chest voice and the head voice, and you begin to imagine how the chest voice is narrowed, the higher you go in pitch and how the head voice is expanding and widening, the higher you go in pitch, you'd begin to understand the chest voice and the head voice resonances, how they feel, how they sound and the roles they can play in your voice. You can also try out with a simple exercise how it sounds with your chest voice and how it will sound with your head voice. The same exercise. If we take an exercise like the Mami Memo Mu exercise with just the repeated note and the triad and we have something like this with the chest voice. Mami Memo Mu Mami me mo mu. Now that's my chest voice. Those are my chest registers and all the vibration and the sensation. Remember the triangle, most of it, over 90% of it is happening in my chest. And if you place your hand on your chest, you can feel the resonance. You can feel the sensation happening in your chest region. If we did the same thing with our head voice and we began at mommy may mo mu mommy may mo mu mommy may mo mu i can practically feel the resonance right here i can feel it in my head even if i place my hand on my chest Mommy, Maymo. There's very, very little sensation. In fact, it's almost absent, but everything is happening here. I can feel the sound here. I can hear the sound here. And that is the head voice. Those notes that are being produced are notes of the head register. And you can try out the same thing, experiment the same thing, practice the same thing, sing songs with your chest voice alone and also sing songs with your head voice alone so that you can get used to these registers. Take some songs and just, you know, try them out on only the chest voice and do the same thing for the head voice. I'm going to dedicate a series on discovering your mix 
because that's a tricky one. It's something that is going to take some people quite a while to get used to. And that is coming up in the future. The topic of resonance and head voice and chest voice, registers, vocal range and all that is very wide and it's something that we're going to be talking about and mentioning throughout the course of our singing careers. To be honest, we're going to be talking about it very often. So this video is by no means exhausting this topic because we will continue to talk about it. This is just an introduction. This is just something that I'm using as a medium to introduce it to you so that you begin to think about it, talk about it, ask questions about it and learn more. And if you have any questions right now, as you're watching this video, type the question in the comment section and I'll get back to you on that. I will be glad to, you know, read from you and answer any question that you have. I'm sure the video was helpful, so tap the like button, give me a thumbs up, and if you haven't subscribed to the channel, tap the subscribe button and tap the notification bell so that you are notified every time the subsequent you know, content from this channel. You will be hearing from me again and seeing me again next week, so stay tuned to the channel and keep pushing in your journey to becoming a vocal wonder. I'm Akurios, and I'll see you next time.